Hi guys, it's um, Dyslexic Nick here and I'm going to do another quick review. Um, this week we're going to look at Die and Let Live. This is a 2006 zombie comedy, uh, teen zombie comedy, directed by Justin Channel, um, starring uh, Josh Lively, Zane Crosby, Sarah Bauer, Ashley Goddard, Jonas Dixon, Zach Boyce, Jordan Hess. Um, it's also got um, cameos from Lloyd Kaufman, and that Henrik Kuto guy that was in quite a few um, indie flicks five or six years ago. I don't really see him in anything these days. Um, yeah, so yeah, Die and Let Live. What can I say about this one? Uh, this is a homage to the old kids' movie, The Sandlot, where the kids got the baseball and they got to get it back from the dog. It's that, but with zombies. Um, <clears throat> these two guys, Benny and Smalls, they decide they're going to throw a party so one of them can win it, so Benny can win over the girl of his dreams, who's going out with this complete douchebag guy. <clears throat> so they throw this big party and all the kids in the neighbourhood turn up and everyone's having a good time at the party, drinking beers and going wild. And um, the pizza turns up and the pizza delivery guy happens to be the douchebag boyfriend of the girl that he's trying to win over. He gets bitten by a zombie um, and basically everyone's trapped inside the party and the key, the only keys, all the keys for the cars are the other side of the fence with the pizza. So the kids have to battle against the zombies um, to get over the fence, get the keys, get the pizza, and get away and have a good time. And that's the gist of it. <coughs> it's really well done. Uh, for a film that was done for, uh, I believe, only a couple of grand, and I mean, we're talking back in 2006, so this was really before the DSLR um, boom kicked in completely. I mean, we're still just on like high-end um, DV cameras at this point. Uh, it looks lovely. This film does look really, really nice. Um, it really doesn't. Uh, you could really tell that they, the cameras they had were just as the technology was getting better. Because for a 2006 flick, this does look really nice. Um, <clears throat> it's well shot. Um, it's well acted for the most part. Obviously, like some acting, some of the actors are better than others. Um, but it, the leads are really good. The leads are, leads are very strong in their comedy, uh, which you need to carry this movie through. It's a really funny film. Um, it's a right laugh. So loads of homages to the Sandlot, um, everything from the shoes to the character names. Um, it's just a real fun movie. Um, <coughs> the only bit that I've never really liked too much about it is there's a brief dream sequence bit towards the end. Um, it's very, very brief. It's only like a minute or so, but that bit always annoys me. But other than that, I've got nothing negative to say about this film. I think it's really good fun. Um, I've had it since 2006, and I've watched it so many times. Uh, I've shown this to loads of people. I really do think this is a little gem, this movie. Um, well worth checking out. Uh, you can pick it up. Uh, it is available on Amazon. Uh, they did another film as well called uh, Raising the Stakes. Um, I highly recommend both of them. If you like independent zombie movies and independent zombie comedies, then definitely check this one out. Anyway guys, I'm Nick. This is the House of Horror. Um, I'll be back on Thursday for another review. Um, thanks for watching and please subscribe to the House of Horror. See ya. Bye.